Hey guys, it's Bub here. And in this video, we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 26040, which is the first build of Windows 11 to feature a new redesigned setup screen. That is, as far as I'm aware, the biggest change to this build and the biggest change to the installer since Windows Vista. As you're aware, the setup has not really changed that much since Windows Vista, maybe the background and a few words here and there. But the general style has been the same. So I'm very excited to take a look at this build and see what exactly is new here, what has changed. I'm really looking forward to highlighting what is new here. So first things first, we do get that all familiar uh, purple background. I really don't like this. I would prefer to see kind of like what's in the Windows 11 out of box experience with the blurred background. Uh, but again, trying to save space in the ISO. I meant to go back. I didn't mean to click through that. So we can see that we still have that glass sort of Windows basic outline here. I know that, that I've read that that is really hard to get rid of. Um, I was reading some of the reviews on this and it's really hard to get rid of this because it's so baked into Windows. Um, as for the actual contents, we have a out of box, we have a window that is really themed like Windows 11. Select language settings. Um, again, typical screen, English, US, English, US. Um, but it has that blue text on a white background with the same font that we would typically expect to see if we double clicked this setup.exe when installing from inside of Windows 11. We also have a Microsoft logo uh, with a document to support and legal, which only asks you to actually go to a website. So apparently there is no browser built into this component. Same thing here, select your keyboard settings um, and it will let you select what you want to do. Um, here we can see we can install Windows 11, repair my PC, or launch the legacy experience. I'm going to install Windows 11 because this VM does not have Windows 11 installed right now and I don't need to repair anything. Um, and there is a little check marks that only appears next to install Windows 11 that says I agree everything will be deleted including files, apps, and settings. I'm glad that it removes the upgrade your PC option because when you clicked on that it always just said to reboot and run setup from inside of Windows. So there was no point in really having it here. Now it's asking us for a product key, which I don't have a product key, so we're going to skip that. Um, we are going to agree to the EULA that was last updated in June of 2021 when Windows 11 was, you know, in its infancy. Here we can see the new disk UI. I am very excited for this. Um, I, we don't really need to create partitions or anything, um, but here it just looks way more modern. I'm not sure that I like having the options at the top of the display. I kind of do prefer them at the bottom, but you know, it's such a minor thing. It doesn't really matter. Um, what we can do here, I mean, just for fun, let's create a partition. Um, we're going to delete this before we install Windows 11, but just for fun, it partitioned it out. What we can do is we can click on one of them and let's just say uh, format. Um, we can extend the partition or we can delete the partition. So when we delete the partition, it should just go back to unallocated space. Yep. So that is pretty cool stuff. And, ooh, that's really cool. I do like that. You see how I was able to click on them and click delete at the same time? Like I was able to delete more than one at the same time. Previously, you would click on it, delete, wait, and then it would come back. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to select disk zero and allocated space to install Windows 11 to. And it does remind you, hey, you want to install Windows 11 and keep nothing. Uh, check device specifications. Um, I assume we meet them because I do. I did make this VM have TPM and the, re the required CPU. So let's go ahead and click install. I don't like this. This does not, I don't like this part. Previously it would tell you, hey, we're expanding files. Hey, we're copying files. Hey, we're doing this. Hey, we're doing that. This just looks like the regular display that's shown when you're upgrading Windows. So if I do, I know that this typically just ran as an overlay over Windows. So uh, control alt delete doesn't actually do anything. That was what I was testing because typically if you did this and like maybe you press the Windows key, like when you're doing an in-place upgrade with the setup.exe file, you were able to access other elements of your operating system. Um, but this one does appear to be pretty locked down here. I mean, there's really nothing to do. So yeah, pretty cool. There is a cancel button, which I guess that would be similar to the X button that was previously found. Again, I don't, I don't like this screen. I think this should be changed. All right, and we are now booting into, I assume, the next phase of the Windows 11 setup. Um, I'm not sure if this is the out-of-box experience or if there is an intermediary phase. Um, I do know that it typically does go through the getting ready, so yeah, it does look like this is, nope, never mind. I don't think the Windows 11 
the old setup did this. Um, again, this is typically stuff that you would only see when upgrading Windows 11, so I don't actually recall ever seeing this previously outside of an in-place upgrade. So that's something to keep an eye on. All right, and here we are in the Windows 11 out-of-box experience. Now this aspect of the setup has not changed at all as far as I'm aware. Um, this should still be your typical, hey, this, this is what was here before this build. So I'm not going to focus too much on this. We're just going to breeze right through this and then briefly take a look around Windows 11 just to see what other new features may lie in this component. All right, and here we go. Uh, first things first, I noticed that Microsoft Teams isn't automatically pinned to the taskbar, um, nor is it even installed. Uh, so that's one thing that I noticed is missing. Um, also, there's no widgets, and apparently they're just not here anymore. I'm not sure if it's because I used UUP dump or if it's because Windows is inactivated or if they're just not in this build. Um, again, just brief look around. We're not going to dive too much into this. We can see the 23H2 home screen on settings here. Uh, system about, we can just take a look here. Pro Insider Preview 23H2 26040. And there really shouldn't be any Windows updates. Um, but just for fun, let's check and see what there could possibly be. But with that being said, we've really taken a look at what I really wanted to look at in this video, which is that new setup screen. I'm excited because they're finally giving some attention to something that's roughly 17 years old at this point, the old setup process. So that's very good that they're finally giving that some well needed attention. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.